Well, it's great when it's daytime, but when it's nighttime, the only thing that's going to be lighting this up are these boring old torches. I wish I had something that was just a little bit more interesting to light a place up. I know. Why don't I just make some? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another tutorial by me, Avamats. And in this one, we're gonna play around with some really interesting ways to light up your caves, or your castles, or your houses, and anything that you don't wanna use, just a boring old torch, or slap a bit of kind of redstone lamp, or some glowstone, you want something a bit more nice looking. Well, this is where you have come to the right place. I'm gonna help you build some really awesome looking lamps and lighting, and we're gonna get going with it right now. Don't forget to hit that like button for me. I'm not gonna know you like it unless you tell me. And if this is your first time here, maybe hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other content whatsoever. Let's get on with this build. Now the key to lighting is actually making things really simple, but making them look as good as you possibly can by using items that maybe you didn't think you were gonna use for lighting. So I'm gonna go through a few fairly basic things that you possibly already know, and maybe you don't, that are ideas for you to use for lighting. So here we've got a nice wooden lighting system. So if you've got a lot of wood around, obviously you don't wanna use anything that's fire-based because the wood is just gonna literally go up in smoke. So you wanna be using something that isn't gonna catch fire. So we've just got some spruce wood here with some oak wood fence we're going to get ourselves a sea lantern smack it right on the top of that and then get ourselves a couple of banners get a banner on that side that side that side and that side and then maybe whilst we're at it we'll stick a trapdoor on the top like that and that's quite a nice little lantern and you can use that inside or maybe even outside if you wanted to. So that's number one. So maybe you want something really, really simple, but you don't want just a lump of glowstone sat in the middle of your room like that. You want it to look a little bit nicer. So get some trapdoors, put one on each side, just like that, and one on the top, and you've got some really, really nice box light in there. It glows really, really well, but doesn't look quite so ugly. It's just a glowstone box. That's number two. Let's go even more simple than that. You don't want anything sticking up at all. What you want is something in the ground. So let's get a glowstone there, but you don't want it just glowing like that. It's in your house, it looks really strange. So stick a bit of carpet on it. That actually keeps it glowing just as well, but you can't see it, especially if you surround it with carpet all the way around like that. You'd never know. It's a really great trick. So the next one we're gonna go, we're gonna move away from glowstone and sea lanterns because we want something just a little bit nicer. So we are this time gonna go for I don't know, let's go for some stony type stuff because then we can use the stuff that really looks good. We're gonna use some netherrack. So we're gonna first off create a nice block there and then we're gonna get our steps and we're gonna put them upside down all the way around here. Like that, dead simple. And then we're gonna get a little bit of netherrack. And we're gonna stick it on top. And then we're gonna get a second lot of steps because we're gonna make it look a little bit gothic. I'm gonna put that around the top like that. So we've got a double layer, that looks brilliant. So now what we're gonna do, we've got to get our trap door, stick a trap door on top of all of the steps like that. Oh, no, done it wrong, so you've gotta face it inwards, like that, and like that. There we go, and get, yep, yeah, need a flint and steel to light it. And then we've got a really nice looking standard, almost like a fire pit type thing, looking good and cast out loads of light. That's the fourth one. The next one is a little bit more complicated, but it's still awesome. Get yourself a stone, but it doesn't have to be stone brick. You can do whatever brick you want really, whatever block you want, as long as it's stone. You don't want anything wood. Get yourself a nice kind of pedestal start. So it looks a bit like the top of a column, just like that. That looks awesome. So then get our wall cobblestone wall and we want to go one too high then get ourselves another brick on top of that and another brick on top of that then upside down on this second brick here we're going to get four more steps and then take that bit in the middle out and we're going to replace that with a bit of netherrack just like that very, very simple. Then what we've got to do on the top of these steps here, and this is temporary, we've got to build two high 
stone blocks like this but we're going to remove these in a minute so don't panic it's not looking really bad this is what it's gonna just purely for the support of these steps and then we're going to take these out just like that and underneath here we're going to get an armor stand facing straight along all the way on all four of them just like that let's light that up so as we can still reach it that's now nice and light and we need to get some pistons because we're going to do something a little bit clever we're going to stick that there that there get rid of that and that stick that there there and then we're going to get a piston facing downwards please facing downwards on all four of these now we're going to remove these four on the top so one two three four just like that and we need to power these four pistons and what that's going to do is going to push these steps in that one's already gone off how'd that happen that's powered all four of them you can see that's pressing the steps in push that out and those steps are now pushed onto those armor stands so that makes for a really nice effect there looking like a almost like a cage around the uh, fire which is awesome and then we're going to get a block just like that we need to get ourselves a trapdoor sitting on top of that like that and the block can then be removed and we've got actually a really nice looking stone pillar with a fire on top i like the look of that that could be really good in any kind of gothic build or a jungle temple or something like that that's number five we're going to go a little bit more simple for the next one we're going to use stairs by going one two three and four and then we're going to get just so as we can kind of make it a little bit more interesting we're going to temporarily stick some stone in there and we need to put some steps upside down there 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 and there let's get rid of that get rid of that stick our nether rack in the bottom just light it and we've got a nice fire pit i quite like the way that looks you can fiddle around with that you could possibly have both of the steps upside down rather than the right way up but i think that looks like a really nice fire pit that is six the next one is super duper simple we are just going to get a bit of stone block there and we want one two three and four slabs of the matching stone so if you use cobblestone use cobblestone stone slabs dead dead easy then get ourselves some cobblestone wall we're going to go one two then get again the block that you got there and then go again with more cobblestone wall one two again with the block like that then what we're going to do is we're going to come out with some cobblestone wall here one on the side one two and that looks really nice with a kind of outhang there we're going to get a sea lantern we're going to stick it on the underside just like that then we're going to get some trap doors all around it one two three and four and then you've guessed it we're going to close those trap doors up and that is a really effective kind of street light i think and that could look good in any kind of, I don't know, old world town, medieval town or anything like that. That looks awesome and gives out loads of light. That is seven. And for our last number eight, we're going to kind of combine a few of the two with some extra little bits and pieces. So let's get again our stone brick. We're going to put a big wall on each side just to make that kind of extra sticky out standy bit, which looks really nice, I think, with the cobblestone. And then on top of that, we are going to get another bit of wall and go up once get a stone brick on top then get a wall again up once twice get stone brick on top of that wall again once twice and then stone brick again on top of that then we're going to get some stone buttons because we want to put a little bit of detail into this it looks much nicer when you put a bit of detail i'm going to put a button on each side of this stone brick here this is not a functional button this is just for decoration another one on here and on here and then again here 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 and here right and then finally we're going to come up one more stone fence like that and we're going to get come out and out again so you can see we're kind of out twice and we've got a bit of dangly there so and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a stone fence coming downwards because we've cleared that is just going to be a basic pillar so there's not going to be any um kind of any block trying to join on the side there 
Now I've realized I'd not come out far enough. You need to come out one extra wall. I forgot because these buttons are going to get in the way in a moment. So that was my silly mistake. You're coming out one extra. Stick a piece of block there and you're going to get four the steps the right way around. So the, the steppy uppy steps rather than upside down steps going around that like that. Then you're going to get two blocks on each of these. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. And then underside of this, we're going to get upside down steps on each and every one. Two, three, and four. There you go. So then what we're going to do, we're going to remove these. And you're thinking, how about what you're doing? You're a mental case. I'm not, I promise you. This is going to work really well. We're going to get nether rack in there like that and we're going to put an armor stand on each of these just like that and then just like the previous one we're going to get ourselves some pistons so let's get a piston and we're going to put a piston on top of there like that that's going to go there we want one on that side facing downwards and another one on this side facing downwards and then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to break this wall to make it work and then put the wall back in again that's okay it works perfectly well underneath like that remove these four like that and then we are going to that we can get rid of that there as well and that put in our redstone bang that powers those that has then pushed those steps onto those again take that out we can put back our wall just like that remove these because we don't need those anymore they've done what we need them to do and that looks just like that we don't need to put a cap on it but what we can do is we can remove that if you wish and we can put again on this side we can stick a trap door there and I appreciate it depends on what you want whether you want it floating a little bit like magic or whether you'd like to put a wall going down into it like that it really comes down to what you would personally prefer for this to look like you could even put another piece of wall inside if you wanted to just like that and it supports it beautifully but then we've got a fire in the middle just like that and then we just need to get our slab underneath like that and we've got a beautiful suspended burning pit, which looks fabulous. I really, really like that. And that is number eight. And you can see we have got a nice array of some fairly basic wooden lighting, a little box, some under your carpet, just a kind of fire pit that's covered up with some trapdoors, a nice kind of column pillar fire, a proper old fire pit. It's just open. You could roast your ox in it, a dangling sea lantern light, and then a dangling lantern made of fire again now you can fiddle around with these as much as you want they are completely adaptable and i invite you to actually do something just a little bit different with these to make your builds look absolutely awesome and that is it for this episode that was really fun i hope you enjoyed making these fiery lighting up pits that are going to make your builds look absolutely fantastic please do tweet me some pictures uh, at avo minecraft let me know what you did with your particular builds these are fabulous and i invite you to make them your own by playing around with them and making them look just the way you want them to make sure you hit that like button it'd be great to see that you've enjoyed the video and make sure you join the sub club it'd be great to see you in my subs list i shall see you in another video you take it easy now bye